Adding subtitles to your video is a great way to engage audiences who might be watching with the sound turned off or perhaps who speak another language. Además, su audiencia podría estar en cualquier sitio del mundo. Now, while there's no automated subtitling in LumaFusion, you can still produce beautiful professional subtitling using a combination of the title editor and my special timeline text hack that will save you time and make your text on screen look slick throughout your video. What does she mean, I hear you ask? Well, it's very common to see text on screen jumping around like this, looking uneven where we're trying to do neat subtitles, but they end up like different sized texts and a noticeable position change from sentence to sentence. See the difference now between my subtitles above and my subtitles below. I'm still using the same font and colors, but my sentences flow and are staying in the exact same alignment as my video plays through. If you're trying to add subtitles to your video sentence by sentence, it's very difficult to keep everything looking the same as you add new pieces of text to the timeline. For example, if you were to add each sentence of your voiceover from scratch, with each piece of text to the timeline, you need to choose your font, resize the text, and try and place the text in the same position each time. You can imagine how long this will take if you're doing this for an entire video, and it can be a bit of a logistical nightmare trying to get all of your text uniform on screen. Now, of course, you can use the numerical values in the title editor to make sure all of your text has the same X and Y position, but we want to get you editing faster with less unnecessary edits. So allow me to introduce you to my special subtitling hack. When you've edited your video and you're ready to add subtitles, design one subtitle only with the look and feel that suits your video branding. So for example, here to accompany this video project, I want to add a classic subtitle, perhaps white text with a black background. To do that, I double tap to enter the title editor and start designing. I like to always have two lines on screen at once to allow for longer sentences, so I'm ensuring to take up two lines here. It doesn't matter what I write for now, just as long as the font type and size are selected. I'll move it down here on screen so it doesn't cover any exciting action in my video. And now I'm going to add a shape to sit behind my text to make it stand out from the clips behind. A black rectangle will do nicely, so I'm going to change the color and rearrange the size so it sits nicely on my video. I'm just dropping the opacity a little so it isn't so garish. So as you can see, I'm spending a bit of time here making a subtitle and positioning it on screen how I want my subtitles to look. This is going to go throughout your video. So take your time here, add shapes, colors, or images if you like. The design is completely up to you. We're just making sure we're happy with it before we move on to the next stage. Now, back on the timeline, after we've created our core subtitle, this is where the magic happens. It's simple yet effective. I'm going to drag the trimming handles out to cover the entirety of my project. As you can see, I have one long subtitle looking fabulous. Now, all I have to do is change the text as I move through the project. I play the clip, listening to the audio of course, and I split the clip where I want the first subtitle to end. I'm going to use the split icon for this. I then double tap on my first subtitle clip and I change the text to whatever I want it to say. Going back into the timeline, I simply repeat the process, moving the playhead to the end of my second subtitling area, splitting the clip and changing the text accordingly. Keep going with this process of splitting your main subtitle and changing the text as you move through. And notice how every time you're not having to change the font type, the text size, the sentence position, or the colors. You're just changing what each section says, meaning that your subtitles will play completely smoothly on screen, looking professional and slick as your video plays through. It's a lot less stressful to do than having to add multiple new titles to the timeline and changing every element, so it will save you a lot of editing time. Just as a side note here, remember you can enter your text into the titler in three main ways. Of course, you can physically type it in using your keyboard. You can also enable voice dictation with this icon if you're feeling a bit lazy. I have to say, I do this one all the time. Or if you already have a script written, you can copy and paste your sentences between apps like this split screen I have on my iPad, 
or of course you can copy and paste from a nearby desktop computer, but remember you have to be on the same network and Apple ID for this. Once you've gone through this process, why not jazz up your subtitles, adding transitions to the beginning and end? These are found in the media library and you just drag and drop these onto the text on the timeline. The cross dissolve or wipe transition is commonly used for text coming in and off screen, especially seen in standard subtitles, but play around with these, you know, see which one is your favourite. Whatever you do though, please be sure to pay attention to where your subtitles are starting and stopping. Place them on your timeline with purpose, ensuring they begin and end where you need them to. There's really nothing worse, guys, than seeing them flash off screen a frame too early or hanging around too long while the action is finished. So zoom into the timeline here, edit frame by frame if you need to, so make sure everything is looking neat and aligned. As always, let us know how you got on with that. Make sure you write in the comments below and we'll see you next time for more editing tips, tricks and techniques from the Luma Touch Academy.